Water coming? Lieutenant Magali Sadie is teaching Got the it. next generation of San Francisco firefighters about what to expect on the front lines. There you go. Our whole job is to work under pressure. Manage your emotions and your fears and get the job done. Regardless of how dangerous it may be. Regardless. That includes the risks they can see and the ones they can't. Sadie is a two-time cancer survivor. Here in San Francisco, female firefighters have a six times higher rate of breast cancer than the national average. For first responders, ongoing exposure to smoke and other chemicals is so serious. The WHO classifies firefighting as carcinogenic. And in recent years, studies have shown even the pants and jackets firefighters wear are made with materials known to cause cancer. So-called PFAS are added to fire clothing to repel flammable liquids and resist extreme heat. They're known as forever chemicals because they don't easily break down once absorbed in the skin. To put something in the equipment to people who are already there to risk their life for you seems really malicious. We're tired and we're dying. On the steps of San Francisco City Hall, behind a mound of uniforms, firefighters and lawmakers recently announced plans to enact a first-in-the-nation ban on protective gear manufactured with forever chemicals. It is morally right and it's financially right. But alternative gear that doesn't use PFAS still isn't widely available, even though the potential health hazards have been known for years. The Firefighters Union blames industry standards released by the National Fire Protection Association saying they favor the use of fabrics that contain forever chemicals. In a lawsuit, the Firefighters Union accuses the NFPA of being reckless and deceptive, which the NFPA denies, calling the allegations misguided and ill-informed. The NFPA tells us it doesn't create or dictate standards, but instead relies on expert volunteers, including the firefighting community. New PFAS-free uniforms are now being tested at fire departments in at least five cities, including San Francisco, where firefighters say so far they're just as effective repelling flames. So that char goes all the way through. Chemists at NC State are currently testing if those alternative fabrics are reliable with long-term use. We don't want to just trade one hazard for another. We can break it down. Lieutenant Sadie says she's fighting for PFAS-free uniforms so firefighters can focus on saving lives instead of worrying about their own. This would affect the future, and if it changes and uh, legislation goes forward, then, yeah, then it was all worth it. The Gatcha Band, NBC News, San Francisco. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.